Hey, this is Mick from NolfNews.com. I'm going to show you how to make a rotating door. So let's get right into it. Now we're going to pick a texture for the door. And I'm going to go open the textures directory, doors. I want a wood door, so I'm going to pick a one on the wood directory here. There you go. I like that one. Now on the side view, I'm going to draw a door. Let me go ahead and use my space bar to create the brush. And I'm going to make it about four units thick. So it's not very thick, like we've been making 64 consistently. But I want it to be thin like a door. All right. I want this door to rotate on this plane. So what I want to do is put my marker right where I want it to rotate from. I want the hinges to be right here on this plane, right on this green marker going up and down right here. So I have to bind this to a door, a rotating door. So we can expand this door directory now and go ahead and go into a hinge door. Go into the, your, your nodes and notice that both of the objects are selected. The hinge door and its subdirectory, the brush, which is, is attached to it because these are bound together. Go ahead and unmark the brush so only the hinge door is highlighted and go into its properties. And we'll show you what some of these what some of the things you can change for settings in here. Move delay is simply when you when you trigger the door to open. This is the delay it takes for it to actually open. So if you trigger it and you set it for 0.5, it will take half a second for it to actually open. It'll sit there and wait, and then it will open. But in multiplayer, if you use it for multiplayer, you usually want to have this set right at zero. Next thing you want to set is your speed. By default, it already sets it for 50, which is a good door opening speed. But another thing you want to change is your rotation point. You can go ahead and click on this, and it will explain to you. But what it does, it, you need a coordinated point to where this door needs to rotate on. So if I click it, and it says, it says vector 0, 0, 0. I'm going to cancel all of this. It, you need to specify where the door is rotating in the world. See, if you look on down here, on the very bottom of your screen, it shows when you move around, the numbers start going nuts because of the different planes of positions. Well, here's how you cheat. This is why I want you to put that object, the where you're rotating it, right where the marker is. Every time you put a new place, a new object in the world, you can check out its position. And there it is. This is its position in the world. Go ahead and highlight it right click and go ahead and copy and then click OK and then roll back down to where it needs its position added into there and go ahead and hit rotation point delete what's in there and right click in that window and paste there the exact position where the object is will be the rotation point now go ahead and click OK Okay, the next two things that are kind of work together is open away and your rotation angle. By default, it already sets your rotation angle 0 by 90 by 0, which means if you look at your top view, and I'm going to zoom in here a little bit so you can see the door actually in your top view, if it's rotating 90 degrees, that means when it opens, this door will end up 90 degrees this way. Well, a positive number is goes counterclockwise. So you got to think of it, if you're looking at the top view and you have a positive number set, it's going to go at a counterclockwise position. So it's going to rotate this way when it opens. But if you have open away set to true, it doesn't matter. If a person was standing on this side and clicked the open, the door would rotate this way. But if they were standing over here, it would rotate this way. If you want it to only open one specific way, you would change this to false. So it would make sure every time it was triggered, even if the person was on this side of the door, it would open towards them. But in multiplayer, if you're going to use rotating doors, it's best to set this for the open away for true. And you, of course, you can set your sounds to what you want on there and go ahead and dig open what you want. But that's basically how you make a rotating door. This is Mick for NorthNews.com.